Hello students, today we will be doing question number 4 from the part B which is the subjective portion of the paper from the MSC CMI data science portion paper for the year 2018. So in this question it has been given that in computing a floating point operation flop is basically any one of the following operations um, which is performed by a computer that is addition, subtraction, multiplication, division for example the dot product of the two vectors u v w into x y z two vectors u v w z this will be u x plus v y plus y z and this involves three multiplications and two additions and a total of five flops now if we calculate the exact number of flops required computing c is equal to a b for two five cross five matrices a and b using a direct implementation of the formula c of i j is equal to summation a i k into b k j where k goes from one to five we need to find out how this number changes if both the matrices are upper triangular so if we have two matrices suppose a which is upper triangular upper triangular basically means above the diagonal below the diagonal all the numbers will be zero so a b both have upper upper triangular matrices so basically below the primary triangle uh, diagonal every element is zero okay now had this been so we are not considered upper triangular case comes later on suppose a b are both five cross five matrices now if we find out the number of multi uh, flops that we need to do so what first we need to do is that for a five cross five five matrix if you find out the product for any one element of the product matrix in this case the product matrix is C product matrix C the number of operations that you need to do is that you need to do basically five multiplications five multiplications and four additions so basically in total you are doing nine operations and we know that in a 5 cross 5 matrix there are 25 elements 25 elements 9 operations or you can say 9 flops so therefore total flops for a 5 cross 5 product matrix will be equal to 25 elements and 9 flops for each so this will be 25 into 9 will be 225 okay this is the total valuation now what happens if a b a b are both 5 cross 5 upper triangular matrices so in this case the number of basically if they are upper triangular matrix upper triangular matrix will be somewhat 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 so so if this is the leading diagonal this is the leading diagonal over here so upper triangular means all the elements below below the leading diagonal will be zero so 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 so how many zeros are there 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so as you can see there are 15 0 element uh, 10 0 elements so there will be 15 non zero elements 15 non zero elements 15 non zero elements and also another thing is you need to consider is that six a and b are both upper triangular matrices so the product matrix that c will be also an upper triangular matrices so basically the number of uh, flop operations are flops are basically reduced and as you can see in this case there are 15 elements so now if we consider only the first row over here so for computing the first row you will basically have how many so if we have For computing the first row you have for let me write it down for computation computation of first row number of flops will be basically uh, 5 plus 4 then 4 
plus 3, then 3 plus, you can say 2, then 2 plus 1, and finally you will have another 1. So this will be equal to, upon addition, you will get that this will be equal to 25. And for computation of second row, number of flops will be equal to number of flops will be equal to 3 plus 2 then 2 plus 1 and then finally you will have a 1 over here so this will be equal to oh I did a mistake over here it the computation that we are doing is not exactly correct okay so as you can see over here before 25 let me write it down this will be 9 plus 7 plus 5 plus 3 plus 1 okay so for the second row this will be 7 plus 5 plus 3 plus 1 so this will be equal to 7 plus 5 12 12 plus 4 this will be 16 okay now for the third row for the third row number of flops will be equal to 5 plus 3 plus this will be 1 okay so you have 5 and 8 this will be 9 okay now for the fourth row number of flops will be equal to 3 plus 1 so this will be 4 and for the fifth row for the final row we will only have one operation number of flops so this will be 1 so therefore total number of computations will be total number of flops will be equal to 25 plus 16 plus 9 plus 4 plus 1 so 25 plus this will be 25 plus 25 50 50 54 55 so 55 operations if there is a upper triangular matrix so this is how you proceed with the uh, formulation for the finding out a number of flops in case you have any doubt regarding the process that we have implemented over here then you can comment in the comment section below and we will try to get back to you and help you out thank you very much